let's talk winter blues and how to prevent it. Hi, this is Chavanka from ChavankaCRS.com and today we're going to talk about winter blues and how to prevent them. Um, you know when it gets a little colder and the days get a little darker, um, quicker, you know, like it starts getting darker around like 4.30 in the afternoon and you're like, WTF, what am I supposed to do with this? This is just the worst feeling on the planet. And so we all go through that at one point or another, especially around October, November, but in some cases it lingers on for longer and longer. And we need to figure out how to kind of snap out of it in a very kind, compassionate way. Because it is extremely important to be compassionate to ourselves before we can learn to share compassion with the rest of the world, right? So here are my seven tips to do to take care of and get rid of your winter blues now before i start with tip number one it's very important for me to tell you that if you feel sad or stressed or anxious for more than just a few days and if it's something that doesn't seem like it's just a winter blues absolutely positively go talk to somebody go talk to your elders to your friends to your colleagues uh, to the people that you trust to a healthcare professional, to a mental health professional. There is no reason for you to suffer alone and there is no reason for you to feel that this is embarrassing in any way, shape or form. We've all been there at one point or another and in some cases it's easy for some people than, it's easier for some people than for others. And more importantly, right now there's millions of people suffering from anxiety and, any, and some kind of depression in one way or another and um, we are here for you and we love you and you are important that is the most important thing for you to remember you are important and we need you here healthy and happy and living the best life that you can possibly live okay so let me start with tip number one which is to get out get out of the house Put on a coat, put on a, a, a hat and gloves and everything that you need to put on um, if you have to. And even despite your own feelings of like, oh my God, I, it's so cold out and I just, I'm feeling like kind of moody and all I want to do is sit at home and eat ice cream all day long. Just force yourself out. And I want you to allow yourself to take a brisk walk, allow your heart rate to kind of go up a little bit. It doesn't have to be you're breaking a sweat. You, I'm not asking you to work out, especially when you're feeling down. But working out and allowing your bloodstream to circulate will actually help you feeling a little bit better because it helps you produce happy hormones. Which leads me to point number two, which is allow some part of your skin to be touched by father son the sun is extremely important and the sun is not your enemy there is no life on this earth without sun we cannot survive on this earth nothing can live and survive for very long without the sun so there's no need to be too afraid of it it is part of life and it is life itself so i do understand that because there's some damage in the atmosphere sun is a little too strong and it could cause some damage in our skin and potentially severe health issues so i'm not asking you to get naked and have a suntan i'm asking you to allow some part of your skin maybe a little bit of your face maybe a little bit even if just your hand for like five to ten minutes will allow you to start producing vitamin d with your body absolutely need and it regulates a lot of processes in the body including the ones that have to do with you feeling content and at peace in your own body okay now number three is what people call nature's Prozac. It's called St. John's Worth. It is just an herb. It's sold in a um, health food store. I would not get it in the pharmacy or in the supermarket. I would go to the health food store where you know these are be this is being sourced in um, in places that where you know this, these herbs are actually healthy and organic and, and, and good for you and it's not full of fillers and stuff that you don't know what that it may be. But 
uh, Nature's Prozac or, or uh, St. John's Worth has been clinically proven beyond reasonable doubt to help you treat mild cases of depression, anxiety, and mood swings. It's really, really awesome. And I've seen it being tried with people that I absolutely love and they love it and it's been very effective for them. Now, the other thing is to avoid getting sick. The reason why is because obviously if you feel sick, you feel naturally depressed and miserable but if you are a little if your immunity is a little weakened then that will also kind of pigeon it's all like one big lump where your body will start feeling the effect of the seasonable affective disorder or the mood swings or the winter blues a little bit more so if when you're strong and you're healthy and you're energized it's a little bit easier to fight emotional issues so I love to remind you of two herbs that I absolutely love. One of them is rhodiola, R-H-O, rhodiola. And it's just a really amazing for moods. And the other one is Panax ginseng, which everybody out there is using these days to help, um, especially because it helps balance hormones and it's an adaptogenic herb. So it helps you reduce stress uh, and help you manage stress more efficiently. Got it? All right, let's move on to tip number five is to feed your second brain. So this is brain number one. This, your belly, your gut is your second brain and it's one of the most important. I, frankly, I consider this to be as important as this brain because in this little brain is where you produce all kinds of happy hormones that then travel to your brain and make you feel nice and fine fine but if this gut flora the beneficial bacteria is dying out because you're drinking a lot of coffee or soda a lot of sugar a lot of processed foods a lot of salt then you cannot produce those happy hormones as efficiently and then eventually that may actually lead to problems in our other mental home so absolutely feed your gut flora with probiotics and prebiotic foods like brown rice like sweet potato like white potatoes um, the ones that are really healthy and nutritional um, dense for you got it okay tip number six and this is uh, the second to last tip is don't isolate yourself Push yourself to go out with a friend or maybe call somebody that you love and don't just tell them, I'm feeling sad. Let's just tell them like, let's go to a movie or let's just go to listen to some music or let's just cheer ourselves up. And more, most importantly, and this is especially true to those people that love cell phones and are constantly attached to their social media, I want you to talk to somebody from in front of them. I want you to be able to touch them feel their skin, hug them, feel their warmth, because we are the descendants of monkeys, right? Like, like monkeys, we need touch. We are mammals. If you see mammals in the, in the wild, their moms are constantly touching their young, and we are kind of like walking away from that, just to spend too much time looking at videos and looking at stuff. And I'm not saying don't look at my videos. I'm saying once you're done looking at the video, Go and walk to your neighbor or to your best friend or to your mom and dad or to somebody who cares. And if you don't, if you have nobody who cares, then you please call me and I will care for you. So make sure that you give them a hug and that you touch their skin because that is extremely important and it helps also with the production of happy hormones and making us feel connected to the world around us. And then finally, number seven is to laugh, to LOL. So, so, so important. So when you laugh, you're releasing tension, you're producing happy hormones, you are increasing the feelings of being happy, and it actually helps you improve your mood and balance your hormones. So it is an all around amazing thing. So now that you're done with this video, you go to your friend, you give them a hug, and then you tell them, let's go watch a comedy. Or let's go outside and just laugh at something. Maybe watch videos of puppies and kitties until we feel happy and content because you, my friend, deserve it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think by leaving comments below. Make sure that you share with all of your beautiful friends that may benefit from this amazing video. And make sure that you subscribe for more tips and a jolt of motivation for your sexy, healthy, and beautiful life. See you soon.
Learn the three-step system that has helped thousands of women lose the flab, increase energy, sleep better, get regular, and lose weight. Get your free copy of the Sexy Body Reset today. Show me what your body